Hi everyone, Dr. Matt here, and in this short video, we're going to look at the musculoskeletal injuries. Specifically, we're going to compare ligamental sprains to muscle strains. So in this video, we're going to first look at the definition, common locations where these injuries occur, the mechanism of injury that is incurred, and then finally, the different ways that we can grade these injuries. So let's start with the definition of a sprain. This is essentially an injury to a ligament, which we can see here in a ligament in the ankle, whilst the definition of a strain is an injury to a muscle or a musculotendinous junction. The most common location that is seen with a ligamental sprain is in the ankle, like we can see here, specifically the anterior talofibular ligament. The wrist, the radial wrist or the ulnar wrist is common, as well as the knee, specifically the anterior cruciate ligament. Whilst the common locations for muscle strains are generally seen in the superficial muscle groups that are crossing joints, such as the rectus femoris, which would be the quadriceps, the semitendinosus, or the hamstrings, and the gastrocnemius, which we can see here, also known as the calf. The mechanism of injury are essentially the same. So we see excessive tensile forces that lead to a ligament damage or in the strain, excessive tensile forces to the muscle, which can lead to a disruption in the myofibers or a complete rupture at the muscle tendon unit. And this is essentially what leads to the grading, which are both the same. We have a first degree, second degree or third degree injury. Starting with the sprains, a first degree sprain is where the ligament is overstretched. There is a minor tear, which the individual is likely to experience mild pain and swelling, but can bear weight at that joint. A grade two, there'll be a partial tear of the ligament, which will lead to moderate pain and swelling for the individual, and they'll have challenges bearing weight at that joint. And then finally, grade three is a complete tear of that ligament, leading to severe pain and swelling, an unstable joint so they won't be able to bear weight, and bruising is common. Coming across to strains, Grade one, you will see a mild interstitial strain within the muscle itself, and, the, and basically the pain will only be brought on when the muscle is stretched. A grade two, there'll be some partial muscle disruption, which will lead to some pain and swelling for the individual at that muscle. Whilst at grade three, there's a complete disruption of the muscle leading to pain, swelling, and loss of function. 